National Institute of Physical Medicine and Rehabilitation is an autonomous organization and a social justice department, Government of Kerala. We impart various programs right from special education to professional teaching. And also we have all sorts of facilities for therapies like physiotherapy, speech therapy, occupational therapy, behavioral therapy. And also we have specialized services like aquatic rehabilitation, uh, spinal cord injury unit, uh, sensory park, sensory garden, and out, the outside musical garden, etc. Uh, for the last 10 years, this organization is uh, working under government of Kerala. Before that, it was a private institution run by a, a family trust uh, known as, called as N.K. Matthew Charitable Trust. For now we have, it is under, as I earlier said, it is under the Social Justice Department. The Social Justice Minister of Government of Kerala is the chairperson of this organization. We have, uh, the, we are, have the academic programs like uh, Bachelor of Occupational Therapy, a uh, four and a half years course affiliated to Kerala Health Science University. And we have a teacher education program called uh, B.Ed. in Special Education affiliated to Rehabilitation Council of India. So as I said earlier, we uh, follow a life cycle approach. We have an early intervention uh, uh, program called the Steps for Parental Training of uh, Children uh, with Disabilities right from 0 to 6 years. And we have three special schools, namely a special school for cerebral palsy affected children, special school for children affected children affected with autism spectrum disorders, and a special school for intellectual and development disabilities. For the 18 plus children, we have a vocational training program called MVOC. That means empowerment through vocationalization. We train them in computer, cake making, horticulture, I like that. And we also arrange placement services through various organizations under government and private sector. Most of our students train under here and already got placement in various organizations. And uh, uh, we al also uh, have the uh, a program facility called Art Ability Center. This enhances the artistic skills, find the artist skill of person with disabilities and we conduct occasional uh, art workshops in various uh, this, uh, fine arts, uh, including uh, painting, pottery, uh, clay making, etc. And uh, that also uh, the main area, so that the, uh, the children or person with the disability can um, uh, function well. So the, we, uh, there's an ideal apartment here, an apartment uh, for uh, training uh, wheelchair bound and a person with the disabilities are in activities of daily living. The apartment is designed that uh, the dis uh, differently abled person can are uh, trained to become independent in their uh, normal life. We, uh, we have also have a, a, a sensory garden and sensory park where also uh, we undertake uh, the sensory in the, uh, integration issues and train them to uh, cope up with the uh, sensory issues they face. Uh, we are uh, planning to have a full-fledged uh, uh, supermarket to train persons with disabilities in instrumental activities of daily living. It means uh, the money concept, exchange, sales, uh, social interaction like that. Apart from normal activities, we are training activities 
and then they made activities of trial training. But the, in, in a, for a community life, the training in instrumental activities of daily living is one of the most important thing. In a way, we have a life cycle approach in management of persons with disabilities. Thank you.